Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Thursday, the 21st of November. Starting off with the FTSE 100, which is uh, still trading between the floor of that rising trend channel from this time last year, and the 200-day moving average, 81.20. We want to see an end-of-day close above that to give us a chance of hitting that October resistance line and the 50-day line towards 82.50. RSI still below neutral 50, as it has been for the best part of the month, and so that is presumably what is causing this market to drag apart from obviously uh, the prospect of World War Three. On the downside, if we do break down, the worst case at the moment is 79.15, basically the August support area. Moving on to the DAX, and uh, here it's a uh, picture which is, uh, well, I suppose echoing the struggle that we've got at uh, the FTSE, but to the floor of that rising trend channel from this time last year, nominally around current level, so let's call it 18,800 to, 18, uh, to 19,000. We want to see an end-of-day close above the rising 50-day line there, 19,100, to give us a chance of heading to the top of the range, 19,500 by the end of this month. But uh, interesting how that 18,800 level from basically the old September support is just about holding this market up. Moving on to the Dow, which uh, has been hurt in terms of uh, at least its uh, drug stocks in the recent past. Uh, here we've got a situation though we bounced above the uh, top of that uh, gap that we had earlier this month and uh, that is normally a continuation signal we also had a bounce for the rsi above neutral 50 and uh, the other point to note i suppose is in the run-up to thanksgiving we normally have a rally for the u.s markets anyway because they have a more optimistic type of frame of mind than we do 44,000, the initial target there, the top of that one-year trend channel. The best case is 45,000 at that red August resistance line projection. Worst case on the downside, 42,300 and that uptrend line from August. Moving on to Bitcoin, which remains the star of the show by quite some distance, which is a wonderful thing to behold at the moment. We're looking for, we were looking for 100,000 by the end of this month. It looks like we actually might get that especially while we're above the initial peak that we had uh, the other week around the 93,400 levels, above 93,400, looking for 100,000. And uh, obviously, given the all the hype and the excitement, we could be looking for much more. A, a potential initial uh, guess at where the next level may be uh, would be the upper parallel of that uh, April resistance line projection currently heading to 120,000. But uh, let's uh, regroup and see if we can get through 100,000 first while we're above 93,000. Moving on to gold, which uh, obviously had the rug pulled from it earlier this month, but uh, seems to be back in business. Floor of that channel there from February, around 25.60, and uh, we're rapidly heading towards the 50-day line, 26.73. Like to see the RSI back above neutral 50 to give us a chance of uh, probably the next level up here would be up to 27.30, which was uh, recent resistance and also the support area back in October. Moving on to the stocks and starting off with Avacta, where there seems to be a bit of a reprieve for the bear, well, for the bulls rather. Uh, we had a bear trap rebound from below that little, or that uptrend line there from back in June. You could argue that it was a bit lower than that, etc., etc. These things are always a little bit fluid, but let's say we bounced right on the last chance saloon line. We There was the risk of heading down to the floor of that channel there from back in June towards 35 pence, but at the moment it looks like we've got out of that and uh, heading back towards the uh, recent resistance zone, which tends to be, or was tended to be, just above the 200-day moving average. There's a line of resistance there at 63 pence, which is probably the best case at the moment, but uh, ideally we can at least uh, nudge through the 200-day line in the upper 50s. At this stage, early and end-of-day close back below yesterday's low, 44 pence, really, uh, in danger, or 42 pence, rather, endangering the latest recovery attempt. But it looks as though we've got... I suppose in a way a triple bottom there for the shares just around the or above the 40 pence mark on to uh, algo or rather uh, alpha growth and uh, here we're looking at a situation which uh, uh, looks as though it's ready to break out quite well we've got a resistance line there from at the end of uh, last year and uh, on a bigger picture it's a sort of triangle progression there triangle there from back in february 22 Top of the uh, triangle there, 3.1 pence, which we're looking for by the end of next month, or hopefully even sooner, especially if we can get decent end-of-day closes above uh, summer resistance at 2.2 pence. Only back below the uptrend line there from April and the 50-day line there at 1.9 pence, really delaying the upside scenario. On to Audio Boom, which uh, has actually, well, did actually give us a very good setup. We had a 
bear trap gap reversal, uh, which happened, I suppose, in the last week. We've got the 50-day uh, line rising now, and uh, we've got the chance even of the 200-day line rising, if we can have another day above the 200-day line at £2.35. The only problem still, though, is we have that pesky seller in the 250 to 260 zone. Maybe this is the time of the gap higher that that seller is out, and we can get through 260, then the target there would be the top of the one-year trend channel at 300 pence, hopefully, by the end of the year. Ideally, we stay above that 200-day line, although that might be a little bit too much to ask. On to uh, Coincilium, which, um, given where uh, Bitcoin is at the moment, should maybe be even higher than it is uh, currently, but uh, we are at the highs and we're pushing through the old high there, the initial 2024 high there, three and three quarter pence, rising 50 and 200-day lines as well, so looking very positive and uh, looking for at least five pence on this by the end of next month, hopefully much sooner than that. Obviously, you can see that on previous occasions uh, back in 2017 and in 2021 the shares uh, spiked along with bitcoin let's see if they can do the same thing again moving on to critical metals which has been uh, in the dumps in the recent past but looks like it's trying to regroup we've got this uh, falling wedge here and um, basically looking for an initial target here at the uh, 50 day moving average 2.1 pence hopefully by the end of this year if we can get a decent break through that July resistance line there at 1.4 pence. Moving on to Greatland, which has uh, finally bounced well and stayed up, or gone up and stayed up rather, and here we've broken that line of resistance there from uh, this time last year. That was around 6.3 pence, and we have been looking for 7.5 pence, which hopefully we'll get by the end of this month. Ideally, now we stay above that rising 50-day line, 6.2 pence. Metals expiration is a, in fact, I'll, I'll go back to uh, Georgina because that's actually up to date. So uh, to keep it in alphabetical order here, it more looking more interesting by the day in the sense that uh, shares seem to be defying the uh, bearish uh, snipes the company's getting. Uh, Ten and a quarter pence, the initial target here, and then up to as high as 12 and three quarter pence, hopefully by the end of next month. Ideally, there's no break back below eight pence. I think that would be the key to this turnaround. On to uh, metals ex exploration as uh, promised and uh, here you can see that we've got this wide rising trend channel that's been in place since uh, this time last year. Top of the channel there at 8 pence might be too much to ask for 8 pence by the end of this year but uh, at least while we're above the floor of the channel there at 5.3 pence things are looking decent. We've also pushed through RSI 50 as well so that helps the vibe. On to uh, metal NRG and uh, here Little bear trap rebound from below, rising 50 day line there at 0.46. Still looking for 0.75 pence plus by the end of this year, while we remain now on the right side of 0.4 pence, which hopefully we will do. Metro Bank is next, and one of the best uh, calls, uh, largely due to the fact that the shares have uh, behaved themselves very well. We had the spike higher back in the uh, end of July. Shares never went below 50 pence uh, after that spike. and had a rising trend channel there from back in May and uh, the chat, the target there basically a pound. We're through that now, so we're looking for the upper parallel of that rising trend channel currently heading towards one pound thirty, which I hope we could get by the end of this year. Ideally, we stay on the right side of uh, the low 90s in the meantime now. I haven't looked at the, the next stock for a long time. I'll see... 365, but uh, looks as though there's uh, finally a bit of a turnaround here breaking that line of resistance there from back in June and looking for the shares to initially hit two pence while they're above the 50-day line at a penny and a half. Shield Therapeutics was a favourite a little while back and it looks like it's back in business, bouncing off the floor of that rising trend channel base from May, top of the channel there at five and a half pence and we're looking for that by the end of next month while we remain above the 200-day moving average at the uh, 2.9 pence level. On to the last two, the first one is seen, which uh, looks like it's finally finally rehabilitating itself. Uh, here we were looking and have been looking for five and a half pence. Hopefully that'll happen by the end of next month while we remain above the 50-day line at 3.4 pence. So broadening triangle base on that one. Another bit of decent use today for sovereign metals and the shares finally responding. We've had ga unfilled gaps to the upside after a bear trap gap reversal. So this is looking very strong indeed. Uh, initial target here, hopefully by the end of this month at 45 pence. Next level up, up to uh, the upper parallel of that rising trend channel, so as high as 56 pence, hopefully by the end of this year. And all the while, we're looking for the shares to remain above the 50-day line 
now at 36 pence. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.